Okay, so we have to fix uh, what we've done before. And one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a tennis CSS page. We're going to have to put this um, CSS, this style in it. And then when we run uh, each page, we'll pull this and pull that style in. Um, the other thing we're going to do is let it know that with the character set we're going to be used is HTML, I mean is uh, UTF-8, which is Unicode with one uh, byte of storage for each uh, character. And the other thing we're going to do is get rid of our doc type uh, f uh, HTML 4.0 and put in a doc type HTML. All right, so let's get started. First thing we have to do is create the CSS page. So we do that by going back to HTML kit and doing file new from page wizard default and we're just going to use a blank dot css page nothing magic about that just doesn't have any extension on it we'll put dot css on it when we save it so we have to go back to tennis content this is what we want to place on there in there so i'm going to copy that then i'm going to go back to html kit and i'm going to paste it in and then I'm going to go ahead and save that page. I'm going to put it in my root directory. And, well, I guess I should have this should have put CSS at the end of it, and it did not. So let's find CSS amongst all this stuff. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right, well, we'll just we'll call this tennis. CSS and we'll save it. All right, so now we have our tennis CSS page and it just has that stuff on it. So we can close that and then open up our index page. Okay, so for our index page, um, what we need to do is get rid of the entire style tag because we don't need that anymore. And then we need to go ahead and paste in the new stuff. Well, one thing we have to do is get rid of this at the end of the doc type because all we're going to be using is HTML and if we go back what we have to do is add these two into the head tag and that is which character set we're going to use. And we won't notice any difference uh, in the, what the way the page looks uh, but we will notice that now our styles are working. So let's do this. Uh, before we put that in, I'm going to go ahead and save the page and preview it. So there's the ugly page. And then I'm going to go back to the editor. And inside the, in the head, underneath the title, I'm going to go ahead and paste in those two, um, those two things. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it again and preview it. And you can see now our style has come back. So it is reading this style sheet. And what we can do then is we can change the CSS page. And that will change everything, even though uh, nothing on the page has changed, except for the, what styles uh, that we're putting in there. All right, so let's go, ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do a couple more. So let's see. I want to go into, let's just do it from top to bottom our Academy program. Get rid of the style tag. Okay, get rid of the style tag. Paste in the those styles there. And okay, get rid of all this. And again, we were using HTML5, but it was following the HTML4 standard, so we really didn't have to. That's not giving us all that much uh, bang for the buck. We will take a look at it. Everything's the same. So we'll go ahead and save it, and we'll close it. All right, let's go on to the next page. Facilities. Get rid of the style. Paste in our character set and our uh, external style sheet. Get rid of the uh, HTML4 reference. Test the page. Save the page. And then close the page. And we'll repeat. We 
did index already. So membership. Get rid of all this extra stuff here. Come down here and paste in our two things. Test the page. Save the page. Close the page. All right, let's go. Okay, we did uh, mission next. Okay, we'll get rid of this. Paste it in. Get rid of the extra HTML. Preview it. Save it. Close it. All right, let's continue. Okay, policies. Delete it. Paste. And we should have done that in the very beginning. The first, one of the first things we could do is go ahead and create our style sheet, put our basic style in there, uh, build pages, see how they look. And then from that point forward, whenever we want to change the look and feel, we'll just simply um, change the one uh, page and then all the other pages will look like that. All right, so this is our last one. Paste it in. Get rid of this. Save it. Preview it. And there we go. So, um, okay, so what we've done in totality is really haven't changed all that much. Um, one thing I want to do though is just to show you how we can easily change it and that is we're going to go into our CSS page and I can't see our CSS page. That's probably the top. Okay, let's do all, all web documents. Okay, so there's our CSS page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more style to the bottom here. And that is going to be for a background image. Um, for a background image, what we have to do is, um, and I have that. Okay, I do not have that. All right, so what we'll do is we'll add the background image. So we have background image. And what it wants is URL, parenthesis, and then the name of the file. So it's in our images folder. And let's see what the name of that file is. So here's our file. There's our images folder. And it's called main background.jpg. So I'll just go ahead and copy that. And I'll go back to my HTML kit and paste it in. And then I have to put a closing quote and a closing parenthesis. All right, so the URL says, well, what, where, where is the picture? This is the picture. So we have to make sure we put images on the front. I'll go ahead and save this. And then I'll go ahead and open up my index page. And when I preview it, Look, there's a pretty background. So you can't see hardly much. Probably in the video you can't see much, but it put a little parchment type of background. Looks a little more attractive than just the plain tan one. So that's it. We've uh, fixed all our pages. We added some good HTML tags. We've uh, created a global style sheet that we can change, and then all the other pages change automatically. All right, on to the next.